Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, where I share interesting information about the British royal family. First, I will talk about a historical event that many people may not know about Prince George, who will be the King of England in the future, was not the honorary page of his grandfather, King Charles, in his first Parliament session. Why is that? Let's find out together. First of all, do you know what an honorary page is? An honorary page is someone who is chosen to serve the royal family on important occasions, such as coronations, anniversaries, or parliament sessions. Honorary pages are usually relatives or friends of the royal family, and can be male or female. Honorary pages have the duty of helping the royal family wear robes, carry crowns, swords or torches, and follow the royal family in parades or ceremonies. Prince George, the son of Prince William and Duchess Kate, is the second in line to the throne of England, after his father. George was an honorary page for his grandfather, King Charles, in his coronation ceremony in May 2023. This was the first time in the history of the British royal family that someone who will be king in the future participated in a coronation ceremony. George wore a red robe and black pants, and along with three other pages, helped King Charles wear his robe and crown. George also sat behind King Charles throughout the ceremony, and witnessed the performances of musicians, singers, priests and officials. However, in the first Parliament session of King Charles in November 2023, Prince George was not an honorary page for his grandfather. Instead, King Charles chose four other pages, who were Lord Oliver Chumley, Nicholas Barclay, Ralph Talmash and Arthur Elliot. These pages were either descendants or friends of King Charles or Queen Camilla. Why did King Charles not choose his grandson as a page? According to a source from Buckingham Palace, the reason was that Prince George was afraid of wearing white underwear and white socks, as was the tradition of the honorary pages. George told his grandfather that he did not want to wear those things, because he thought they would make him look silly and be laughed at. King Charles understood his grandson's feelings, and decided not to force him to be a page. Instead, King Charles allowed George to wear a normal outfit, and sit with his parents and sister, Princess Charlotte, in the stands. George was very happy and comfortable to watch the Parliament session, and did not have to worry about what to wear. This is an example of the flexibility and modernity of King Charles, when he did not try to maintain the outdated and inappropriate traditions. King Charles showed that he cared about the happiness and freedom of his grandson, and did not want to impose unnecessary burdens on him. This is also a lesson for us, that we should respect and listen to the opinions of children, and not force them to do things that they do not like or want. Do you think King Charles was too harsh and conservative with the old-fashioned customs? Please leave your comments below. Continue the video. I will talk about a surprising hobby of Princess Catherine, which Prince William calls, crazy. Do you know what it is? Let's watch. Princess Catherine is famous for being a sports lover, she often participates in outdoor activities with her husband and children. She is also a good tennis player, and has played tennis with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. However, there is a risky sport that she loves, but Prince William never dares to try. That is swimming in cold water. Can you believe it, Princess Catherine likes swimming in cold water so much that she is willing to soak herself in a tub of ice water below zero degrees. She said she had this habit since she was young, when she played a lot of sports at school in harsh weather. She also likes swimming in beautiful places like Lake District or Scotland, where there are clear and beautiful lakes. Princess Catherine revealed this hobby on the podcast The Good, The Bad and The Rugby by Mike Tyndall, a former England rugby player and husband of Princess Zara, granddaughter of Queen Elizabeth II. She said that Prince William always calls her crazy when she swims in cold water, and he can't understand her passion. But do you know, swimming in cold water has many health benefits, especially for the mind. According to Dr. Sarah Brewer, a health expert, 
swimming in cold water stimulates endorphins, a chemical in the brain that has the effect of increasing happiness and reducing stress, anxiety, and depression. In addition, swimming in cold water also helps you focus on the present moment, and achieve a state of meditation when you focus on your breath. So do you want to try swimming in cold water like Princess Catherine? Or do you just like watching her swim from afar? Please leave your comments in the comments section. Thank you for watching my video, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Finally, I will talk about Prince William's visit to Singapore to support the Earthshot Prize, an initiative he launched to find creative solutions for global environmental problems. During this visit, Prince William had the opportunity to meet and chat with many famous artists who performed at the Earthshot Prize ceremony in Singapore. He revealed that his children have very different musical tastes. Specifically, Lewis, his youngest son, loves the songs of the American pop band One Republic, while George, his eldest son, likes to listen to rock music from the Australian band ACDC. As for Charlotte, his only daughter, she has not been mentioned. How do you feel about the music tastes of the two young princes? Can you guess what kind of music the little princess would like? I think it would be gentle ballad music. This is a very interesting and cute thing, showing that Prince William cares and understands the preferences of his children. He also knows how to compliment and thank the artists for bringing wonderful and meaningful performances at the ceremony. He told the band Bastille that their performance of Pompeii moved him and many others to tears. He also told singer Freya Ridings that her voice was beautiful and he loved her song Lost Without You. However, in this visit, Prince William did not have the accompaniment of the Princess Catherine. The reason is that Kate is staying in the UK to support her eldest son George when he takes his first important test at school. This is an entrance exam for his future education, which could be at a prestigious boarding school. William mentioned Kate's absence in a speech at the US Global Wildlife Summit on Monday. He said that Kate was sorry that she could not be in Singapore and she was helping George overcome his important test. This was a very witty and lovely remark by William, making the crowd laugh. This is what I want to share with you about Prince William's visit to Singapore. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel to not miss the latest news about the British royal family. Thank you for watching and see you again in the next video. Goodbye.